young at heart but we're still dreaming eyes wide open okay guys i'm working on this car but look this little guy yeah anyways where are you going hey guys at work so far today we've had a mouse in a car and i don't know if you can see down in there but there's a marmot He's stuck. Yeah, I know, you're chirping. We're gonna get you out. We're gonna get you out, yep. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. And we were out in the bush this weekend. And after a weekend of seeing all kinds of wildlife, uh, little did I know that this week was gonna see a little bit more wildlife, except it was gonna be in our shop. First, this morning I had a mouse inside somebody's car that came into the shop, so I never did catch him. And then a couple of really nice ladies dropped in. They were on their way from Kelowna, B.C. through to somewhere. And they stopped in and they figured that they had a creature of some kind inside of their fender of their car. So we looked after that for them and we found out that it was a hoary marmot. And uh, the rest of what follows is our extrication of the marmot from the car, taking the car apart and releasing him back into the wild. So yeah, check this out. All right, so here we go. We soon realized, and we could see the little guy like you saw in the first clip through between the door and the fender. And what we wound up finding or figuring out was that we're going to have to take the fender liner out of the car at the very least to get, be able to get a hold of the little guy. So our idea was that if we could get him into a cat basket, like a little carry case, uh, and we had a black one, which was really nice, so it'd be dark like his den would be, uh, we'd be able to transport him out to uh, somewhere safe. So we got one of those and we proceeded to take the car apart here. And then we were hopefully going to be able to catch him. But he proved to be a bit of a handful, this little guy. And for anyone out there that doesn't know what a marmot is, these are a hoary marmot. They're kind of like a giant groundhog, and they live in the mountains, typically. And they uh, have their dens under rocks and stuff. So, But this guy had built a den inside this lady's fender of her car. Oh, he's moving. Oh. oh, Jesus, you scared me. Uh, what what made you think he was moving? <laughs> okay, so if what if I open the door, or do you think we should just open that and try to pull him down into? Well, if you open the door, you can at least see to give you at least what a little, he's doing. Uh, visual right there. We'll drop the jack on we. So if you up here now. slowly pull it out a little bit, now this is what he does. He's facing uphill right now. Yeah. He's not very big. Can you see, little guy? I know. We're trying. Is it going to come out? Yeah, you'll have to force it in there. Okay. Oh, he's got a nest in there. That's, That's why. There he is. There he is. Where is there, he? There's his foot right there. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going to come down. Where'd you go? He's, oh, no, he's up top now. Okay, guys, so this is where it got interesting. We thought we could just get a hold of him and pull him down. Now, these little guys have big teeth. He was a fairly young one, but they his teeth were a good inch long, I would say, and they're sharp. So we're kind of going, well, he moved up on top of the fender liner now and had access to go to the, toward the front of the bumper cover, so... We thought, well, we'll take the fender liner down and see if we can't, you know, kind of flush him out. We didn't want to lose him in the yard. We have guard dogs in the yard, and it's inside of the town limits. So we really wanted to capture him and put him back out in the wild where he could build a new home and uh, continue on about his business. So that's what we're doing now. Get the fender liner down here and see what we oh, can okay. do. He's trying to go up on top of the engine. Oh my god. Bernie, don't let him come up there. Can I use this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like just. I'll get my hand up top back there, too. My way. Just 
Shannon? Oh, I know there. it's coming. It's just uh, Can he go back on top of it? He, he wants to go up top now. He doesn't want to go toward the light because he knows he's vulnerable there. Not impressed that we're in his house no, at no. this moment. I'm gonna take one more picture of all this shit there. Yeah, he's okay. Are you ready? This this hole doesn't scare him at all. That's as far out as that. Yeah. But is he even above you right now? Oh yeah, he is. He's right there. He's coming. Well, yeah, which he, way? He's I'm trying to come up through here. I need to get something around. Oh, there here. he is. Oh. <laughs> hey, big guy. Can you we'll get him get you out of here? No, not yet. Okay, we need to force him back down that hole, yeah. Troy. Yeah, I agree. He's a hole loser or something. Let me grab this. He didn't seem to be intimidated by that. Maybe do, uh, do you want something harder, Troy? He's coming down. He came down. Okay, but now it's who's brave enough to put their hand in there. And uh, Daniel son. <laughs> you see him? Yeah, I see him. What just... animal is in here? Marmot. I don't think I can get this oh, noose. No, you'll never get that noose on him. Where do you see him? Right, 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 right there. there. Just what the hell who thought a hoary marmot could be so much trouble so oh man just as a side note guys the ladies that drove in with their car here they were more concerned about the marmot than they were about their destination or anything else i mean they were concerned they thought they had a bird in their door initially and earlier in the day they'd actually seen the marmot in their yard a number of times throughout i think the week they were saying and uh, that morning when they left, they saw the marmot, but they had no idea that the marmot had taken up residence inside of their car. So, yeah, they stopped in, and they were pretty pleased that we would take this on and see if we could get that marmot safely out of there for them. They didn't want to see any harm come to him at all, so uh, they were very patient and waited up in the office for about 45 minutes or so while uh, we undertook this little bit of an operation, but... This guy, he could find his way from the front of the bumper cover up between the radiators to the top of the engine, and he had a great hiding spot there. He was really hard to get a hold of, so we were trying to get him to go uphill or downhill, do something, but he was doing what marmots do. He was in a really good little hiding spot, and he knew it, and he was making our life hell, short of taking this whole car completely apart. Um, he'd done some damage to their car with the uh, uh, sound deadener in the back of the fender and, and a few other little items in there. Nothing critical that would stop them from carrying on their trip, but yeah, he made a nice nest in there. So at this point, what we're doing is we're using a rubber hose to try to poke him on the bum and force him up into uh, an area where we could get a hold of him. Uh, it was around that time I'd taken a little piece of pipe and fed some string through it and did it like uh, the dog catcher's noose type style, or you see the guys using it to catch other kind of critters uh, where they get the noose around their neck or a leg, and then they can at least try to control the animal a little bit. So um, this is where we decided that, well, maybe we'll move up to the top, see if we can force them to come up to the top, and if I could get the noose on them, um, then I could get him by the back of the neck was what I was hoping and grab him like you would grab a cat and see if I could pull him up and, and put him into that bag quick so we could release him someplace safe for sure. So enjoy some more of this craziness that's uh, catching a marmot from the uh, mountains in Canada. Come on, big guy. Get up there. Almost burning. Okay, pull. Okay. Oh, nope. We lost him. Fuck. He's tough. 
we had him. He freaking pushed my hand right back. Did he? Yeah, I've been rubbing his back. Oh, <laughs> that's how I'm coaxing him up. We like give him a shove. Right now? Just give him a shove and see if he'll just happen to run. Just, out. just, just wait, because okay. I can. I almost had him. Well, that's the thing. Grizzly bears eat those, eh? So they're used to having something big after. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> if I just stay in this crack. I ain't afraid. Of you guys ain't got claws. I'm not afraid of you. No. <laughs> okay, I'll go through here again, and you go through your spot. Oh, man, I gotta go here. You got enough here? I think so. Sped up here, guys. Another 15 minutes of uh, or so of fiddling around and trying to get this guy out of here. I was trying to get a noose on him so I could get him up, and he was uh, he was not making it easy. So, but coming right up is the capture. Sorry, I didn't get the camera up higher, but I didn't want to take the time to do that. I'd rather have gotten him out of there while I could. Because he seems to like fighting on this, and I have a good anchor. Fucking just what man does he hang on? Got him. Come. We don't want to hurt him. He's holding. Can someone on. get the scruff of his neck at this point? Is any knees and push yeah, in, no. Rich? Yeah. Long. Okay, where's this? Okay, stick? hold it there. Hold it there. Don't. You got him, so. Okay, can someone get the scruff of his neck? Yeah. Okay, here, here. Let me put my glove right. on, yeah, Troy. I got a glove. Huh? Okay, here, you grab him. Okay, you got, hang on. Wait, let me get my glove on. Oh boy, I got no skin to grab a hold of. Get in there. Zip, 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 zip. Watch your fingers. Yep, I know. Whoa! Oh, 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 I think that is the definition Looking of a scared. pissed off animal. Yeah, scared, but you don't I'm going to take him. Yeah. Oh, is it okay? I mean, I think I'm... Yeah. Well, yeah, I need to get that truck done, though. Maybe I'll just give him some water and put him somewhere quiet. Yeah, let's do that. So then, guys, our friend Rich, who works at uh, the shop for us sometimes there, um, he decided that he had the time and he would take him and release him out into the wild up near the golf course. There's some other hoary marmots living in the area there. So this is Rich taking him out to be released and the rest of the little bit of video here will be uh, Rich releasing our little hoary marmot friend back into the wild where he can build a new home that's not inside the fender of somebody's car. So it's not all just paragliding on this channel, it's about adventures in Canada and this is just one of them. All right, I think it's time to let this little guy go. We'll see if he goes out without too much of a fuss. There you go there, little buddy. You're good to go. Hoary marmots use their dens and their little hiding places in the rocks for protection from uh, predators. And this little guy felt pretty safe in his little bag that we rescued him in. So he was taking his time and having a little bit of a look around just to make sure that nothing out there was going to get him and uh, while he could still duck down inside of his bag and keep himself out of sight he was pretty happy there so it took rich a while to uh, get this guy persuaded that everything was okay and he could move about his, the rest of his day and start building himself a new home so that's why he's hanging out in his bag at this moment
I'm gonna go so I can have the bag back. I'd like to go back. I know. Come on, I'm ready to go. There he goes. And we'll let him hang out for a bit. We saved you, little guy. We did. I know you're mad. You're chirping your teeth. Show the car. <laughs> Aw. We're going to take you and put you in a new home? Yes, we are. I know you're pissed <laughs> off. I know. He's a fucking mad kitty. Yeah, so anyways guys just to uh, end this I just want to thank the ladies for trusting us to take care of this little guy and look after their car and their insurance needs for them and uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe hit the like button and we'll see you guys in the next video take care everyone bye now